Hello guys, it's coming to the end of the season and I did manage, as you can see in the background with Order 66 to have a little bit of fun with the EXG guys and I do want to say thank you to the EXG boys for having a little bit of good sportsmanship and fun when we was having this little bit of a brawl down here. But what we're going to do is a cool one. I'm going to actually discuss and talk about how I approach this PvP combat and a few different scenarios where I was able to fight in Call of Dragons. Hello guys, yes, smash a like, comment and subscribe for more daily videos with me, Mr. Sneak, an official Call of Dragons content creator and we're smashing it again and we finally got into some PvP combat so we can have a little bit of fun. I was playing a little bit loose, I will admit, but we still had some really good moments with our troops, especially when we brought our infantry into the play. So I really wanted just to showcase this and we were using the Torn Artifact and we're going to showcase that a little bit later. But I really wanted to go off and showcase how tanky you can make this Goresh and Skogel match. And the way I use this, as you can see, and even my alliance has got my um, infantry as a marker, I use it as a really powerful front line that tries to create space. And once I've created that space, I'm going to start letting my, obviously, alliance members take control. So as you can see, I'm making all this free space and my alliance now coming up helping murder balling up and we're pushing through look how aggressive i'm able to play right and i'm purposely pushing forward here because i want to create this barrier from our alliance to theirs alliance right and now look you can see how fun we're having we're in the middle look at the area area of effect damage coming out of him right and it's made the flying units go on the mountain right and you're probably wondering what do i need to do well i've done a really good job there of you know pushing my enemies back so we can do what we were doing right and that's just showcasing really good honestly infantry usage here right so let's go into another clip we've got where you can see basically again um a bit of my open field infantry being used to frontline and control more importantly the space and territory around us and here we are so we've got our garage frontlining and you can see i've got four enemies at the bottom already targeting me and the amount of area of effect damage going on right so we've got our infantry in the front and that is being basically our frontline for all of my alliance members at the back and this is where i want to kind of pause it and just showcase look at the positioning right it's allowing my alliance members backline with the archers and those mage units to actually play a little bit more aggressive and target the correct marches because a lot of players as you can see are targeting my infantry which is a little bit of an l on them they shouldn't really be doing that and they should try and focus on this back line because obviously our back line is doing the damage i'm kind of there as like just this big hunk of meat trying to take your damage instead right and that's the way i'm purposely playing this right and the thing with Goresh and Skullgirl, they're not as tanky as the Madeline and Garwood, I will admit. However, when you look at this, the amount of damage and counter-attack damage, the area of effect skill damage from your Goresh, plus the Venomous Lizard that I am running, it does give you that sustain. And you can see again, I'm running just the Dragon Scale Armor here, just to showcase, look, you don't need the Spirit Bone, um, you know, talk to do a, a frontline job, right? And I'm there tanking now, again, multiple units here, including some T5 players, for a decent amount of time, right? And allowing my units here on the back to try and do as much damage as they can. Obviously, as soon as my frontline's gone, they're gonna have to reposition backwards like I am doing. So what we're gonna do is actually go into a different clip now, and it's gonna showcase a bit more of me like targeting without having an infantry line up there right because you can see after that fight we're here we've only got our mages out and we need to get some more units in but we're trying to find some decent targets 
to go for. And we're playing behind Roxu here. And Roxu running the Skogel Gresh instead of Gresh Skogel. Exact same combo. It's just a different talent tree that he's opting to play for. And you can see that where we are playing very deep back. We're all the way back behind the flag. That's on 94%. And it's allowing our two frontline units now to shine it lets them push forward all of our as you can see um aggro isn't on us we've got zero attention no one is targeting us right now and i'm even so close as you can see to the infantry units but they don't look at me they're looking more at the infantry units and that's what's key being able to kind of grab the attention of your enemies if you're an infantry player and you're trying to buy that time and space for your actual alliance members in the back which are running the canaras or the the syndrons the lilias you know the valence the fears everything right all the damage they will allow you allow them to shine it's almost like you know you're you're being the the unsung playmaker for your alliance and that's the beauty of actually having you know a really front good front line that's coming right and you can see i'm still pushing here with my majors and we don't really have anyone you know here right but what you can see is i'm bringing my infantry already down right so if we zoom forward here you can see again me kind of poking away on some infantry units this is actually a really good tactic if you're waiting for a fight to come on because as soon as again someone goes on to you as you can see there i've immediately used burst strike and i'm starting to reposition my mage units out of threat allowing me to basically get off free damage which charged up because of this infantry player just above us right here you know just not really paying attention so here we're running now Goward Madeline, more of a super tank, just to showcase how much tanking you can really do if you're a T4 player, right? And we've got some T4 players against us here with a, a maybe one T5 player, but look at the amount of damage Goward and Madeline takes and this is the beauty of it and we're running the venomous lizard again and you can see all of the skill damage and air of effect damage that's occurring for our march here and we've got our majors in the deep like i've always been saying in this video so far just doing their thing man there's no attention on them now i can see it, it's someone trying to hit me now just here this little guan win targeting my march and i'm obviously needing to reposition here but I stick it out. I literally stick it out because I know my mage match is so low. And by doing that, it's caught this player out. And my infantry, as you could see, if we just replay that, instantly, once it's beaten, our units here goes to target that match. And by doing so, it's going to allow me, as you can imagine, to hit that rampage trigger, slowing down that marksman even slower and punishing now their misposition with all of my alliance members. And look at this, instantly from white to red and just like that, she's dead, right? So really good little bit of picking again and just showcasing how powerful a infantry match actually is in call of dragons because you do tank quite a lot and if you can do those kind of plays which you just saw where you could charge at your enemies you could use mocking chorus to taunt them you know you could tag them with the rampage trigger to slow them down there's so much you could do to actually influence the battlefield even if you're an infantry player with t4 and you can see me having a good amount of fun here with these units right so i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video it's a little bit different i know and it's one of those ones that to be honest i have enjoyed because it's the first bit of actual pvp combat that i've been able to participate in this season even though it was right at the end it was really fun to do it so i hope you guys have enjoyed it smash like comment and subscribe and you know in the next season there's gonna be a ton of pvp coming on my end through order 66 so you know what to do hit that sub hit the notification bell and you'll know when those videos go live so until then stay safe stay sneaky guys and peace out